Hello, one and all, this is one of my tacos. Welcome back to Let's Play Blood Fresh Supply. When we last left off, we tried to defeat the first boss again, and definitely was not able to do it. Why would they open the door? Somebody's attacking somebody over there, and it ain't me. Really? You're actually gonna stay down this time. Well, he came out of the sink. So, I don't think the food here is all that going to be all that sanitary. There's no place. I'm keeping the shotgun out. Because who knows what other units they're getting the attention of, like him. Got your attention. Whoa. Hello, you. Come on. Shotgun. You staying down? There's a lot going on in that center area. Oh, hello, boys. Ow, my face. Ow, that's still my face. Definitely still the facial region there. And my face is dead. Did I ever mention how much I hate you guys? Hmm. Upset several of them. Blew up the curtain. He saw me. And he died. And he dropped a heart. You know what? We're saving. He saw me. That's all I need is for him to see me. Just so he can move his little cultist body this direction. Thank you for the heart. Ah! There's another. And there isn't one in the corner. Okay. Well, we've been given a ton of voodoo ammo and a ton of spray can ammo. Those are our resources right now. There's some shotgun ammo there in the corner we will be picking up, but... Shotgun ammo goes just as fast as you get it sometimes. If I get a napalm launcher, we will turn around and go kill that guy. I promise that. But until I get a napalm launcher, that is going to be off the tables. Just can't deal with them without something heavier. Okay. Another one of you. We will eventually circle around this freaking house. Hotel. Sorry. I have a feeling we're going to be on this level for a while, by the way. Because trying to get the secret exit is not going to be something very easy. Okay. Doesn't appear to be any shenanigans going on in the giant evil fireplace. Nope, there's fire armor in the giant evil fireplace. Looks can be deceiving. And we have circled our way back around. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
The green ones are poisonous. By the way. Well, when life gives you napalm. Use napalm. Our rewards. Basic armor, TNT, and some bullets. I am okay with that. That was a fair trade. We will save, because we're doing pretty well. And then I think we're going to toss one of these suckers. We're going to toss it a little better than that. I forget how the tossing kind of... I forgot how the tossing kind of... Not forget, forgot. They're still behind that door. That one's on fire. Enjoy your fiery death. We'll leave that one alone, because I think the max might be 200. Hello? Au revoir. Round two? Nay, he says. Other biggin. Oh, nope, there's two more biggins. They do set fire rather easily. Standing on that, I believe, will hurt. Also, still alive, buddy. Let me help you. I'm gonna backtrack, grab the flame canister, the spray can, whatever, make a save, and start exploring this room. Always be saving. Apparently none of those will open. Ow, my fingers hurt after just spamming the energy there. We can go play in the sink. Nothing there. Oh no! Well, it was only a matter of time before they shut up. Those enemies will want to kill us. I told you they were going to be coming up. I warned you. I didn't expect them to be right there, but they were right there. Oh, man. Okay. We've now circled around. We can't get in there quite yet. That requires the skull key. We need to be careful not to grow the big guy the next time we go around there. We're also soon going to encounter another new enemy type. Dagger key. Because now I think we're at the point where we're going to start playing around in the walls. Nope, maybe not quite yet. We got a couple of rooms we're going to explore. As an arachnophobiac, I would like to point out, I never, in the course of my life, want to experience a spider so dangerous that a front blast from a shotgun is not enough to kill it. We have picked up a tome. I don't know what that sound was. That might have been the enemy type I was mentioning. Yep, there he is! I don't remember how you kill these. They're very loud. Ah, right, they turn corporeal when they're about to strike. Forgot about that. They have a ranged weapon. It's gonna take me a second to kill this guy. And they are loud. I apologize about that. And they take a lot of abuse. And we're going to encounter quite a few of these when we start going into the cracks of the walls. But they can be killed. Like that. He's gone. Our reward is some more fire armor, which we really didn't need. 
But we also get the reward of knowing that that monster is dead, and we've gotten to experience it firsthand. Welcome to the cracks of the walls. I'm not going in there quite yet. Oh! You know, I knew to look around the corners. Wasn't expecting you guys. I auto crouched there because I went under the torch. Come on, burn! Thank you. No reason to be so whiny about it, jeez. I see some flares there. So we can wait this one out. Jeez. I don't remember them making that noise when they burned to death. We have doors here. Several doors. Behind here, probably going to be one of the ghosts. Nope! Worse! Significantly worse in every single regard. I would have preferred the ghosts. Body armor. Oh, those things make my body shiver. Also, another entrance into that area. There he is. I heard him come up. The tome we picked up, by the way, that is the key to the secret level. One of four, specifically. We have to get four of those, and then we can use the secret level. I believe it's as simple as actually just picking up the fourth. Nothing in the tub. Plus toilet. We can also go. No? No comments, Caleb? Somebody goes, woo, or whatever. Okay. No, Caleb is always armed akimbo with two pistols. Even though he's not actually using two pistols, he's using a shotgun. That leads, I believe, into that area, to the secret area, secret walls. And if we go further down that way, we'll eventually get to that guy that we were promptly trying to ignore. Ah, the library. This is a place of places I don't want to be. But we're gonna have to. Hopefully I can just pull one of these guys out. I think I managed to pull just one. Don't know how many of these shots I'm making worth it. But I'm still going to use them. Come on down. I know you're up there. I'm over here. Come on. Come on. Come and see an enemy type this loud since Hexen. Just doing circles. Do 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 do. You're dumb. And the worst part is, I can't even kill you. If you were corporeal, I would be taking advantage of this. He's gonna make me go in there. He's gonna make me go in there and play by his little rules. Are you gonna come out now? Come on, come out of the library. You opened the door on your own, man. Look! Come on! Come on, bro! Thank you, bro! Is that so hard, bro? Come on. Now, come on! Down into the big foyer room, where you're easy to move around. I'm gonna have to Tommy gun you, unfortunately. This might take a while. This could literally be the last five minutes of the video. I have no idea what fire does to these guys, by the way. I'm not gonna find out right now. I'm sure a blast from a napalm launcher will probably kill them, but that's just more explosion damage than fire damage. 
I don't think the flare gun or the, uh, the spray can does very much to these fellas. I am going to switch to the shotgun here. I don't got much. That was a waste of ground. So was that. Okay, officially tapped out of that. I don't think that's going to help. I'm going to have to suck through my Tommy gun ammo here. Ah! He's dead. Thank you. Oh, man. I'm running out of good plans. All I have left is a couple rounds of Tommy gun ammo that I will just clip right through. Oh, there he is. He's up there. Hello! Come on down here. Even their projectiles scream. I don't like these guys. I will give them credit. For the time period, there's a lot about this enemy type that is unique. Um, the design itself is is cool, but that that's just design. We are out of conventional weapons. Oh dear! It might be time to figure out what explosions in TNT do to this guy, because now we don't have a choice. Well, I managed to pitchfork him to death. That's lovely. Anyways, um, an enemy that turns corporeal or incorporeal back into corporeal that can only be hurt in incorporeal form um i can't think of anything like in a in a first person shooter at the time that was doing something like that i'm probably very much dead wrong there probably was somebody who was already doing that and it's not that unique but um to me there's nothing like that uh oh You need to go away, because there's a cultist over there. I was trying to pull just you, but... Ah! Ah! Ow. Okay, fine. Whoops. I'm in for that to bounce off the wall. Try this way. Nope. Because I can't see him. There he is. He already saw me, though. <laughs> Normally, I would just pull up my shotgun, but I don't have that choice right now. Merry Christmas! I do have this. Who? Oh, you. That plan isn't working. This will eventually work. No! Normally, pitchforking a cultist to death is suicide. But because he's unable to draw a really good line of sight to me, to that little hole there, I wonder if I can get a TNT stick through there. I'm going to save before I find out. Enjoy! Oh, he's still alive, because of course he is. Come on. To the window, friend. Oh, now he's hiding in the corner. You know what? One of the tomes. I want just the bullets. My name is Caleb, and I can fit through small windows. All right. Let's come back into this part of the library and save. Save 21 still. And when we come back, folks, 
more blood. Thank you all for watching. This is one of my tacos with a little bit of shotgun pellets and a little bit of, or shotgun shells and a little bit of Tommy Gun Ammo. Signing off. I'll see you later. Take care, and bye-bye.